So uh, uh, just to hit the nail on the head here, we obviously are aware of uh, you being a member, once being a member of the UPND. So if they did extend a hand to you, invite you to get back to the UPND, is this something you'd put into consideration and possibly accept? Well, um, yes, um, I, I think uh, since uh, yesterday when I decided to uh, resign from the Patriotic Front, I've been uh, uh, receiving a lot of uh, phone calls and, uh, of course, uh, on my WhatsApp and some people have gone even to my Facebook page and uh, most of them uh, are being uh, UPND members. Uh, who are encouraging me to uh, join the, the UPND. Um, I have no difficulties uh, with that as long as uh, the party accepts me. Um, but uh, for now, it's not on the cards. Uh, nobody has approached me. Do you regret leaving the UPND for the Patriotic Front uh, now that the UPND have formed government? Well, the... the there are ups and downs in the politics. Um, when we are going to elections, it's sometimes uh, uh, un unpredictable. But um, I think that uh, we, we can't fault the Zambian people. Um, my, my predictions were different, and what the outcome of the elections uh, uh, was different. So I congratulate the Zambian people uh, uh, for voting the way they voted. Uh, there's no problem with that. Mm. Um, obviously, uh, it was not uh, personal that um, I should be regretting. In fact, for me, what I wanted was just uh, to put, uh, put in the government, uh, a government that will work for the Zambian people, and I'll be happy with that. And uh, I did not uh, expect uh, any personal gain for, from such a, a development. Mm. At what point, or perhaps maybe it didn't come through, but at what point did you realize that your prediction was wrong? And prediction in this case perhaps being that um, you didn't predict the UPND would win. At what point did, you, did it dawn on you that your prediction was not correct? Was it after the election? Was it a few days perhaps before the election? At what point did you experience that? Well, I think it was after the elections, because in the run-up to the elections, uh, um, the race appeared uh, tight. In fact, uh, the odds were against the UPND. Um, many people uh, were predicting, even those uh, uh, international organizations and so on, were predicting that uh, uh, President uh, Edgar Chagalungu was going to win. And in my analysis, even at the press conference where I was uh, um, announcing my resignation from the UPND, I did state and predicted that it's going to be a tight race because in 2015, uh, the difference between uh, uh, Kainde Islema and Ed Galungu uh, in terms of votes was very small. Uh, the margin was very small, but uh, Ed Galungu won by a small margin. And in 2016, it was also the same. It was a tight race. Uh, but Ed Galung was still won by a small margin. And my prediction then was that uh, Ed Galung was still going to, to win, but it was tough and uh, it was going to be a tight race. But obviously, after the election, the outcome was different. Some of the comments that are coming through from uh you know, different social media platforms, especially from uh, many of the Zambian people that have been following your resignation uh, on the fact that you haven't spent so much time in the patriotic front. It's, it's barely a year, and there's a lot of uh, wonder with regards to why you have left the patriotic front uh, uh, so soon. What are some of the things that you hope to have achieved within the party, seeing that uh, you only made it to being member of the Central Committee? Well, yes, I haven't stayed long. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I only stayed, uh, strictly speaking, two to three months when the Patriotic Front was uh, uh, in power as a ruling party. And after that, uh, um, uh, they went into the opposition. And yes, barely a year, I've um, also I decided to leave the, the Patriotic Front. 
Um, uh, I think that uh, I've run my race in the uh, patriotic front. Um, I did my best uh, to help them win, and uh, uh, we didn't win. So when you run a race, uh, it's, it's better to step aside and the other people can continue from where you have stopped. That is what uh, I believe in, because uh, I think that um, uh, continuing to do things uh, uh, which you think uh, cannot achieve the results will not help, even at the individual level or at the national level.